Now what this is going to do, it's going to create like a nice even coating on the bottom, and then we can add our wafers to it. Yeah. And we're going to, David, stop for a second. And we're going to top it. What up, it's your boy Josh, AKA the Cinnamon Toast Criminal, AKA Break Me Off a Piece of That Pull-Up Bar, AKA it's chicken. I like fried chicken. And it's that time again. Time to take two iconic snacks, smash them together, and see what kind of beautiful food baby we can create. Now we asked you what two snacks you wanted to see smashed together, and you said Cinnamon Toast Crunch and Kit Kat. Will this new snack be a smash? Find out, because this is Snack Smash. Daven edition. So how much do you know about cooking? Woof, well, very little. David's coming in here soft. He works in the producer's tent, whatever they're doing, but no, no, in the kitchen, we're hardcore. I wanna teach him some real life lessons. So Cinnamon Toast Crunch is basically just like a bunch of flour and sugar. So I figured that would work really well into some sort of crispy dough to create the wafers. Fun. Right, does yeah. that sound good to you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, how do you feel about foyatine? What? You gotta first blend all the Cinnamon Toast Crunch cereals into a French term that Josh has said that I can't Say the French term is foyatine. Lafayette. I don't think that's it. I think that's a character from Hamilton. So we're just gonna blend this up. We just gotta let it run for a while. We couldn't afford cinnamon toast crunch when I was a kid, so we would have like cinnamon square toasty bites. It like tastes the same until you actually have cinnamon toast crunch, and then you're like, oh, toasty bites don't cut it no more. Do you like cinnamon toast crunch? I I don't think I've ever had cinnamon toast crunch. What? I'm, not, I'm not a big fan of cereals. David, eat it. I will say it has to rank pretty high in the charts of cereals. Cinnamon toast crunch is number three cereal. <laughs> Number one cereal is Captain Crunch because he holds military rank. Number two is Count Chocula because he holds feudal rank. It's that cinnamon, is not healthy. Right? What do you mean it's not healthy? Number three is Cinnamon Toast Crunch because it's delicious. Dude, check this out. You got vitamins and carb calcium carbonate. <laughs> Josh is a good teacher. Vitamin C, that prevents any disease from entering your body. But... He goes on a lot of tangents. You got lecithin, Trevor loves lecithin. <laughs> it's great, it's, it's fantastic. I like cooking with David because he's kind of impressed with everything I do because he knows so little about it. And I'm just gonna sip this with my hands. The reason you want to sift Cinnamon Toast Crunch with your hands is what? You wanna feel how, how crunchy it is? And I am <laughs> feeling the crunch. So we're just gonna add all this Cinnamon Toast Crunch flour. We're not just adding cinnamon to it, even though that is the main flavor. Yeah. Because there's more than cinnamon in Cinnamon Toast Crunch, right? Oh, yeah. It's cinnamon and chemicals. Cinnamon, toast. Crunch. Lecithin. Don't forget all the vitamins. All the vitamins. Yeah. So many vitamins to trick uh, parents into thinking it's healthy for kids. So I'm gonna dump in a ton of powdered sugar. Uh oh, oh, oh. Dump in the butter. We're gonna spin this up, see where it's at. We want a kind of like flimsy ish dough. We're just mixing all that up in a food processor. Should be super simple and nothing should go wrong. Nothing ever goes wrong. All right. Nope. He's used it up a million times before and I don't know why he couldn't put that in. There's like a. 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 This has to lock in with this. Right. If someone's like fit this square into this hole, I just turn it around for half an hour until I just fall asleep like one of those goats who stare at the sun and faint. Ata, ata. I think you have it backwards. Now the tricky thing about this blender is that it goes both ways apparently. You can put it in the front and the back, but if you put it in the front, it won't work. We're making dough. We're making dough. We're making dough. We're making dough. The, wait, this thing I was told you the top's backwards. It wasn't man. on. It wasn't I told on. you the top's backwards. What do you mean the top's backwards? Whenever I'm cooking, I have it facing me. But no, now it's facing you. No, the top's not. Okay, wait, I think it was backwards. It's such a simple process. Once you once you put it once, you, you know how to do it. So we're gonna it. go ahead and we're gonna I make a, we're gonna turn this into a thing. Alright, so now we're slowly gonna stream in some water just to really bring this all together. Oh, there's water here. Right I there. thought this was empty because water's clear sometimes. <laughs> All right, so we're going <laughs> So we got a really wet dough. You might be thinking this dough is wet. It looks like a dough I'm eating in the morning. <laughs> what? <laughs> David made a poop <laughs> joke. Uh, it's good stuff. You've seen the show. One of my friends. Basketball teammates pooped his pants and I had to guard oh, no. him the entire practice. Oh no. He pooped his pants, he was like, I don't want to wow. tell coach. And like, you know, basketball, like you know, you're him. He's like pressed up on me and I'm like guarding him here. And I'm just like, Ugh. Cooking with Josh is a wild ride, man. He will tell you stories that you never tell before and you think that it's a fake story, but it's uh, it's actually a real story that happened to him. You know, that's gonna be a gift forever now, right? You yeah, know, well, I was trying to explain a, a pertinent story for, for about uh, poo pants. <laughs> It's very tricky, because you have two competing objectives. No one wants poo on you, but no one wants to get scored on. All right, let's lift this up, see where we're at. Yeah, look at oh, that. Oh, is that what you want? This is actually what I wanted, yeah, yeah, shockingly. If you really think about a Kit Kat, someone throw me a Kit Kat. Oh, my God. <laughs> Break me off a piece of that. That's their slogan. So if you really think about a Kit Kat, right, like. Yeah. You think you know how thin the wafers are until you really break it open. And you know that these are leavened, oh, which means they're right. gonna rise even more. Oh, it's good. 
I want one that I'm you getting, haven't touched. I'm getting distracted. So we got this. We're gonna roll out another one, get it in the oven about 400 degrees. And then Snack Smash, David. Josh. Kit Kat. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Uh, man, woman, uh, camera, TV. What else is in a Kit Kat? Chocolate? That's right! Hey! So we're doing that! To make the white chocolate filling, we're gonna melt down candy melts, which are a very highly processed form of chocolate, and then we're gonna mix in some of that actual Cinnamon Toast Crunch flour to give it almost a fudgy consistency. Are you excited? I'm kinda lost, but yes. What do you mean you're lost? This is so easy to follow. You know, I'm just gonna watch you. Hey, David, you, 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 you go start. I'm, I'm you go sure start. We're gonna things will go fine. We're gonna add a little bit of supplemental cinnamon to it, because we really want this to like, come through. A little dash, very cinnamon forward, just like Cinnamon Toast Crunch, because you got yeah, cinnamon yeah, toast yeah. and the crunch and the less than. Speaking of less than, vitamins. we're just gonna add a nice little heavy should I, should I mix it in? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Smacks you in the face with cinnamon flavor, Dave. And then we're gonna get our wafer. Wow, it just magically appeared. So we're gonna cut this layer in half, and then you're gonna pour it on that. Yeah, scalding hot. Do it, Ooh. David. Just stay calm. L lower your okay. heart rate. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna paint on a very thin layer here. And we need to work with this while it's still nice and warm, so we need to get three layers. Three layers? Dude, that's what's in a Kit Kat, man. We're trying to copy this exactly. They have a whole factory to do wow. this, but yeah. today we are the factory. We're artists, as they say. We're, we are artists. Just like in factories, you know, the people that work there are called artists, like Subway, <laughs> it's a sandwich artist. We're just gonna lay our second wafer layer on there. Pour some of that on there, start spreading it around. <laughs> Why am I running back and forth like the kid with the Naruto headband in high school? Everyone knew him. Everyone knew him. <laughs> He's Naruto. Did you say Naruto? I, is it Pablo he... Naruto? <laughs> Who thought you'd come to Mythical Kitchen and get a Pablo Neruda and Naruto <laughs> reference in one? That's what we do, baby, multifaceted. That looks really good, David. It doesn't matter no. if it's uneven right now because yeah. we're gonna cut it with a knife. Okay, good. Square it off. What do you mean, good? Like you're worried about the evenness? No, 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 no. We made our lasagna. Okay. Oh, yeah, you're we right, made our lasagna. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is Kit Kat a lasagna? <laughs> Listen to our latest episode of Hot Dogs and Sandwiches. <laughs> Kit Kat a lasagna? We have to do it now, we said it. Lucas made us some awesome Kit Kat molds, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill that with melted chocolate, then we need to cut these into squares, set them in there, and I hope it's a Kit Kat at that point. It looks like a Kit Kat to me now. This is what a Kit Kat looks like to you? Like, you know, when it's flattened out and like there's no marking on it? That's how a picture Kit Kat will be. That's how my brain works, you got your, how your brain works, you know? You know, I still don't know how to get to work from my home without a GPS. Oh, really? I still don't know how to do it. We need to start filling our lovely Kit Kat molds. You see, they even say Kit Kat yeah. on them. Lucas, wow, what what an artist. You made a beautiful Kit Kat mold by what I believe is just shoving a Kit Kat into a piece of like soft dental gum material. Chocolate is traditionally solid. True. Eh? Yeah. Uh, science. It, you know, liquid fills the shape of its container. Yeah. More science. Science. So what we want to do is get this chocolate extra liquidy, so it's really going to get that Kit Kat in there from the mold. I'm adding some coconut oil to it, which melts really fine, so that way it's going to adhere to the mold even better and it should slip out nice and easily. Coconut oil will lube up anything. Anything. You gotta be confident with your cuts. Okay. Not nearly confident enough. You were like 80% oh, confident, you need to go 100%. Quick, quick strokes. Quick strokes, that too quick. Let's switch, 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 switch. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, keep stirring that up. We're gonna add a lot of cinnamon to this. That's a lot, get, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We wanna get a lot of spice in there. So just keep stirring it as fast as you can. Remember, limp wrists, tight shoulders, swirl the hips. Swirl the hips now? Swirl the hips. All power in cooking comes from the hips. Okay. There it is, it's perfect. We got these cut, that's perfect. Let's switch back. Okay. I'm gonna start filling these molds. What we wanna do is we just wanna get a nice, even coating. Okay. There it is. This is what we do. You want to get an even coating since the chocolate's liquidy. Okay. We're just gonna, David, just open your mouth. I trust you on this. I don't have anywhere to drain it. I would okay. normally do this over a trash can. Yeah, yeah. Okay. No, no. Okay. Dude, okay. can I get I'm under gonna, it? I'm gonna close my eyes because I don't want to get yeah, yeah, chocolate in my eyes. There it is. Ah. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Wow. Now what this is gonna do, it's gonna create like a nice even coating on the bottom and then we can add our wafers to it. Yeah, oh, yeah. David, just stop for a second. You know, having that white chocolate sauce on your face that's like really warm and thick, like really tastes, it actually it really tastes good in your mouth. We're gonna top it and then we're gonna set it in the fridge. It's gonna be nice yeah, and perfect. Yeah, it's gonna man. I just wish that Josh stopped a bit earlier because I was getting choked up with it. That must have looked terrible. I think you look great. It made me feel strange. Dave, you're killing it, man. You know you're what? Excellent. Not in a bad way, but just in a way. How'd that taste? That tastes really good. It's good, right? It's really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, whenever that's we probably make the these, best way to eat that, too. I think so, I mean, We should just make Kit Kat smoothies. Mm. But you see how this is gonna come together, right? Like, we got the yeah. little wafers in there, we're gonna cover it in the chocolate, and it's gonna be perfect. You want, like, a towel or something? Nah. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah. Just before this, Ryan was just like, our aprons are always dirty. <laughs> and was like, I wonder <laughs> why that could be. I feel confident about this. The, the chocolate layer is gonna hide everything. Okay. So now we got this, and then we're just gonna take a this, and we're just gonna scrape it off the top, and then we're gonna set this in the fridge, and then it's gonna turn into a Kit Kat bar. Magic. Magic. Magic.
Damon, we have a Kit Kat, I think. So we have it set in the mold that's just sat in the fridge for about an hour. And I guess now we just have to see if it comes out of this thing. I'm most hopeful about the actual flavor of this because you get all that cerealness from the Cinnamon Toast Crunch and then all that nice spicy cinnamon-ness. A lot of ness is going on. I think it's gonna be good. Yeah, jiggle it. Give it a, give it a good luck jiggle. There, there it is, there it is. Oh my God. That looks pretty. The Kit Kats look amazing. Out of the mold, it looks exactly like a Kit Kat bar. It's got like the beautiful cinnamon hue on it. The yeah. chocolate set up really well. I think the coconut oil actually helped it. And it freaking says Kit Kat on it. Yeah. I'm super impressed it with does. our work. This is incredible. But a snack is not a snack without the packaging in which that snack comes. That's right, should we cut to it? I think we shall. This looks incredible in the package. It looks like something that would actually be on a store shelf. It looks amazing, yeah. All right, let's unsheathe our Kit Kats. Looks pretty incredible. If you look at a normal Ooh. Kit Kat, I mean, it's the same exact dimensions. Yeah. Looks exactly like it. There showed up a little bit cleaner, but I'm not worried about that. Let's eat it. Okay, came apart a little bit. Hold on, hold on. Mine came up clean. Why, why did yours work so well? Well, I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about the taste. <laughs> You're a single kick I got. I always go double. You go double? I go double. Whoa, too crazy for me, man. <laughs> That's incredible. This actually has a this little bit more. This is really good. It doesn't just taste like cinnamon and white chocolate either. Like yeah. this has all the cereal flavor. It's like when you steep cereal in milk, you get all that kind of like grain filled rush. Like you're getting the grain flavor. That's the toast. On three, we're gonna decide whether or not we think that Cinnamon Toast Crunch and Kit Kat should actually fuse and make this a thing. Pick up your paddle. We're gonna go on three. Three, two, one. There we go. <laughs> it's, it's gotta be a smash. This is, this is a smash, yeah. This is to me an easy decision. Yep. Like, it's the perfect marriage of the two. And Kit Kat makes so many different things. This could actually be one of their actual, you know, flavors out there. This is a money maker for them. Yep. Thank you so much for joining us in the Mythical Kitchen. We got new recipes out every week and a new episode of a hot dogs and sandwich every Wednesday, wherever you get your podcasts. Hit us up on Instagram at Mythical Kitchen with pictures of your mythical dishes under hashtag dreams become food. See y'all next time. Rock it with a spork in your pocket. Get the spork tea now at mythical.com.